Today we have a beginner archetype tier list written in the classes on how they feel to play for the first 30 minutes of a playthrough. And I do have 73 hours to play in the game otherwise, but it is my opinion, so take it with a grain of salt. First class we're going to be rating is the Hunter, which is pretty good out the gate. You get a 7-shot sniper, pistol's kind of trash, and your melee weapon is okay, I suppose. Your prime perk is going to be dealing damage can increase the duration of your skill when you hit a weak spot. And your first skill is Hunter's Mark, which is the only one I'll cover because it takes a while to unlock your second and third, and that's more of a late game thing. But your first skill is Hunter's Mark, reveals a bunch of people in an area, or just in general around you, for a duration of time. And this is huge in Narud, the little robot place with zombies. It helps you not get a, a appearing on an episode of Braziers. Now your first perk is going to be Deadeye. Gain, four, gain extra damage for your range, weak spot damage, and range crit chance which is good but there are fights where your range weak or your weak spot won't really be a thing which is rough for your prime perk and also your first perk then you have return to sender kills due to weak spots can give you 50 percent more ammo and double the chance of ammo drops which is big then you have urgency firearms gain 50 percent reload speed or more reload speed and increase movement speed after a kill that's it's, it's good it's not it's not bad by any means but on boss fights it's like you know not there at all Intuition. So pretty much every single fourth perk of every archetype, I believe, has something to do with relics. In this case, using your relic, aka your main heal, will extend the duration of any active skill by 10 seconds. Effect degrades with each subsequent use. Weak spot kills against marked enemies. Increase speed of next relic use within 15 seconds by 5%. Stacks 10 times. I didn't even know that. And your trait is going to be increasing weapon ideal range by 6 meters. So Hunter is A tier for all these reasons, which is not a bad rating, but many folks on the YouTube think it's the best one in the game. I disagree heavily. Next up, we have Challenger, which I think is C tier and maybe even D tier because of the starting weapon, the shotgun. It's 12 round shots. It does amazing damage up close, but the key part there is up close. My first fight when doing this playthrough, I fought against a boss that had range. It's also like, I guess the boss, it's not really too fair because that boss is just awful to fight. I'm not sure what the play against it is, I just couldn't do any damage. I think this is the only time where I didn't actually kill the boss, I'm pretty sure, because I couldn't. Now, you do come equipped with a rusty lever action rifle that you could use, but you can't put a mod on that, and there's no point in upgrading it because it's a waste of time. Now, your prime perk is die hard. When you die, you get revived for a 100% of your max health, which is amazing, but it can only happen every 10 minutes. Your first skill is War Stomp. It's like a giant tremor you send forth, and you get two charges of this, and it deals damage in a pretty big cone around you your first perk is close quarters grants 30 grants more damage based on being close to enemies aka within 10 meters and it tapers off until 20 meters you also get increased crit chance by up to 10 percent this is okay it's it's just it's okay because you're not gonna be that close to everything all the time but when things are close it's nice intimidating presence after activating a challenger skill enemies within 10 meters deal 10 percent less damage for 15 seconds with an additional 2.5 percent damage reduction per enemy affected if you're playing melee this is fun but melee is definitely an in-game kind of endeavor i believe power lifting both the stamina cost increase for each weight bracket and stamina regen delay are reduced by 50 percent that's actually pretty nice once you unlock that and then face of danger using a relic within 10 meters of an enemy grants two stacks of bulwark and 10 percent increased damage for 10 seconds i wish it was longer than 10 seconds my problem with this class so far is the fact that A, the shotgun is rough out the gate. The challenger, it's supposed to be more like the melee class. You start off with a giant great sword too, like a rusty one. And it doesn't really feel like a melee class. It just feels feels meh. So that's kind of a bummer. Oh, your trait's pretty amazing though. Reduce encumbrance by 10. That definitely adds up. There's times where when you get to when you get a archetype to level 10, you actually unlock the trait for whenever you're not playing the class. And I have the ability to actually put four points in this trait and then be able to wear this armor which is nice because I like it looks good and I like to wear it. So that feels great. Also, I get more armor, which is nice without having to have a slow roll or more stamina cost for rolling. On to Medic. Wrong game, but same concept. Medic is S tier given the sustain the class has, which I believe to be redonkulous, brother. Prime perk generator. Heal 300 HP and you get one relic charge restored. Having more teammates increases the amount you have to heal to get said relic charge. First skill. You plant a hole in the ground that heals yourself for 4.5 health per second over 15 seconds this is very strong because it's a way to always have your hp be topped off when walking around so that we don't get one shot by random stuff and i think this actually outweighs the fact that you can get revived on handler and challenger in most cases 
because with this you can survive situations that the challenger would just die in especially the handler because if your dog's dead then you can't wrap it all so wellspring i believe to be ridiculous out the gate brother perks first one invigorated grants 20 or grants more damage grants more to all damage not even just range or anything it's all damage and extra crit chance your team perk is benevolence increase relic efficacy by 15 percent and heals nearby allies for 30 percent of total healing value increasing to 60 percent for any ally below 35 percent max health your relic becomes a uh, community item of sorts the third perk is pretty useless in most cases. Backbone increases the hits medic can take before losing gray health by two. Benefactor increase relic use speed by 20%. Trait is triage increase healing received by 45% at max level, probably around five or maybe 3.75% at lower levels. It's freaking cracked. And not to mention your starting gun is an LMG, which is just fun to use. It has so much damage per clip. The ammo part is kind of rough though. To be fair, your melee weapon's really good, and your pistol is decent. Handler is the most wholesome class in the entire game, but it's not going to be S tier or A tier for me personally. Instead, it's going to be B tier because the dog sells. This dog is selling fights like crazy. The dog is good, but when the dog is downed, the dog does nothing. Also, side note, some folks don't want to play the handler because there's no volume slider for the dog, and the dog do be whimpering. And the dog can be set on fire, but the dog can swim and it looks adorable. So the doggo has a prime perk where if you get knocked, the doggo can res you. Okay. I didn't know it did that. <gasps> doggo best friend. You get res for with 50% 50, 50 of your max HP and it only has a 90 second cooldown, but it does require you to have one relic, relic charge at least remaining. And each res will take a relic charge from you to revive you. Your first skill is going to be guard dog this is going to be the tank one the dog has 15 percent increased that generation on um, boss fights i'm pretty sure it does nothing which is going to be a, a bit of a docking of points there but it, you do have the ability where dog takes less damage which is going to be big by 20 percent and your hold will make it so that the dog howls reducing damage taken by 15 percent to all hours in 20 meters and i believe that applies to you no matter the distance which is kind of nice it lasts 20 seconds your first perk is pack hunter you gain range and skill damage and range and skill crit chance while the dog is active and close to you. Again, the dog can sell fights, and when the dog sells fights and gets knocked, well, this goes bye-bye. The good thing, though, is the dog can be revived mid-fight fairly quickly. Spirit of the Wolf. Increased movement speed by 10%. I believe that's active all the time, which is fantastic. Movement speed is a big factor in this game. I think HP and movement speed are huge trait points just out the gate. All allies within 10 meters of the handler gain the handler's movement speed if faster, reduces stamina cost of actions for allies by 15%. Teamwork. Handler and companion gain 30% increased revive speed. So if your dog gets knocked, you can revive it faster. And while the handler or companions are reviving, they receive 50% less damage. You can go for the res, bro. You can be the hero. And then best friend. Using a relic fluid restores companions' health and grants them 25% damage and 35% damage resistance. I didn't know that. If you guys don't know, a lot of times during when a fight starts, if you have a bunch of extra relic hearts you can get by grinding the game, you pop one to get these buffs active. Reduces friendly fire damage dealt and received by 80%. It makes it hard for you to knock your teammates. It makes it hard for you to get knocked by your teammates. And it also makes it so you're using certain mods, you don't die instantly, which is a problem. There's, there's a certain mod I use that I, I use for a bit where if I popped it close to myself, I would die so fast. Actually, there's two of them. We have saved the literal best for last, Gunslinger, S plus tier, all the way. The 1806 rifle, your starting gun, insane. All the way even to end game, which I know it's beginning thing, but still. Even starting out, you get 10 shots, and they can pretty much one-shot the majority of things you find, especially with a weak point hit, which is huge. You get 10 potential one-shots versus many other guns, which is like 7 or even less. Your prime perk, when activating any Gunslinger skill, both weapons are instantly reloaded and gain infinite reserve ammo on all weapons for 8 seconds. So just infinite ammo for 8 seconds. Your first skill is Quick Draw. Pulls out your trusty side piece and unload up to 6 critical shots from the hip. Each shot deals 105 base damage and doubles stagger value. If you hold this, that can then be channeled into one shot that does pretty substantial damage, and especially as you're starting out because you'll, you won't have access to anything too crazy, and this will be your biggest damage hit for that time period so go into a boss room hold this button down and hit for a weak spot and then boom you have a decent chunk of damage just starting out your fight 
Your first perk is going to be Swift Shot. Gain, fire rate, range damage, and crit chance. Team perk is posey up. Ammo pickups award 30% additional ammo. In a group, it gets split to around 10% per person. Quick Hands, aka Speed Cola. Firearms gain 10% reload speed. Bonus is doubled if magazine is empty. And your last perk is slide of hand. Using a relic reloads equipped firearms. I had no idea it did that. And increases range damage by 15% for 10 seconds. Your trait increases ammo reserves by 50%, which adds up. Because 50% of the high end, I think starting off it's like 5. But 5, 10, 15, it tends to add up quicker than you think. In conclusion, Hunter is A tier, Challenger is C tier, Medic is S tier, Handler is B tier, and Gunslinger is S plus tier. Those are my ratings. If you disagree, let me know in the comments. If you liked the video, leave a like, a comment, and maybe subscribe. I'd appreciate that. And let me know if y'all want a video like this for the hidden archetypes, including the most recent one, Archon. Appreciate y'all. Have a good day. Peace.